I went to Howard Johnson uh, in uh, 1960, mm -hmm. and uh, Mr. Johnson said, well, if Jack wants to work, you know, in our organization, then he has to work in a restaurant to see our system. So I went to Rego Park, the big Howard Johnson in Queens, on Queens uh, Boulevard there in Rego Park, and uh, the whole kitchen was African-American, you know, and uh, so I started picking burgers too. I mean, I had to, uh, like any kitchen, you gotta prove yourself, you know, show your mark. So uh, um, they, all those guys had no idea, of probably the pavilion, who the pavilion <laughs> was, or the goal of stuff like this. So, you know, you see the way you have to prove yourself in any kitchen, you know. So I started doing uh, the type of stuff that they were doing it, and uh, great, uh, in a few weeks I could do as fast or faster than uh, anyone in the kitchen. And that was a good idea. So they were black uh, uh, African American, you know, there in the kitchen. And I said, so coming back to New York, I mean, in New York, all the chefs that I knew in the big hotel, restaurant too, were either French, Italian, Spanish, Swiss, a lot of Swiss, German too. I don't think I knew one white American chef. Didn't exist uh, until the CIA. Culinary Institute of America, starting uh, in the 60s, they, they were in, the, in New Haven before they moved uh, to that Jesuit uh, uh, place in upstate uh, New York, in, in the Catskill, you know. So, uh, uh, and at that point, they start producing chef and other school like Johnson and Well and so forth. And uh, there are extraordinary American chefs now, but not at the time. It was another scene. Uh, for me, the scene started with, because of Pierre, and Craig Claiborne had just started at the New York Times. And uh, I think he started in 58, I believe, and that, or maybe 59 even. Uh, it was the first time there was a, a male kind of food editor. I don't even know whether they call it a food editor. It was always someone they took to talk about food. There was no. So Craig made it much more respectable. He kind of invented uh, the vocabulary of food criticism in America and the star system and so forth. So he came to the pavilion to interview Pierre to when I was there to, and I became friends with him, with me. So then I live on 50th and 1st Avenue, he live on 53, 53rd, so I met him. And uh, through him, I believe, I met Helen McCullough. Helen McCullough was the food editor of McCall House Beautiful. She was a very feisty lady who was never married, didn't have any children. She was from Nova Scotia. And uh, so she kind of uh, became uh, my surrogate mother. I mean, tell you, don't wear those stupid things, don't wear those stupid things. Yeah, 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 yeah. Probably fixed me up with 10 girls at the uh, house beautiful. <laughs> so, and I started through her doing a bit of writing also, and do I was going to Colombia. She pushed me to go to school. But uh, through her, uh, she spoke with James Beard every day on the telephone for like an hour. So within a few months, I knew James Beard, and I remember well, the first time I went, and James Beard was in here, he was a very uh, large man and uh, with a very hearty appetite, and uh, Helen would do those tiny portions, you know, and I remember one time we were there, one of the first time we had, she served quail, we had one quail. He opened his mouth, swallowed the quail, that was the end of it. We left, he said, let's go out for dinner, you know. <laughs> So, so James Beard, and, uh, and then in the middle of uh, the 60s also, Helen told me, oh, I want you to look at, uh, at that. I have a, a, I receive a, a, a review to, to review a manuscript. Uh, so it was, uh, it was Julia's manuscript, Mastering the Art of French Cooking. And she said, well, what do you think of that? I said, oh, it's pretty complete. I think it's good. So she said, well, the woman lives in Pasadena. She's coming to New York, so let's, uh, you want to cook? I said, yeah, absolutely. So I always cook at Helen's apartment there. And uh, so Julia came and uh, Helen told me, you know, it's a very tall woman. She had a terrible voice. Well, so uh, I spoke French with Julia actually when I met her because I was here like six months or a little more maybe. But her French was better than my English. So what I said, I knew the trinity of cooking. You know, James Beard, Julia Charles, Craig Levon, within the a few months after I was there, so the food world was very, very small, you know, very, very small. So uh, all the other ones that I knew were chefs, which were usually, as I said, from Europe or other places, you know. So it was, 
to another world than it is now without any question.